Capricorn, my little goats. How are you? We gonna find out. <laughs> See what the sea goats are up to. We have lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go, whale and orca elders, share your song, frequency of sound, and diving deep. So you might be a musician or some sort of artist. Um, let's see, what are you questioning? Damn, son. <laughs> okay. It's gonna hit me with it right off the bat, I see. <laughs> Little Capricorns. Alright. So with Ace of Cups in reverse, I feel like you're going through a time of, like, self-awareness or self-acknowledgement. Um, you know, sometimes when we lift the veil, we reveal things about ourselves things that are hard to accept or like. Um, with two pentacles, I do see you in the energy of making a decision here. And I feel like, like music is a really strong calling for you. Um, so if you don't write music, you should probably listen to it at least. I feel like, um, you know, even building a playlist is can be a, an art of self-expression. Um, let's see. Let's talk about this decision. Okay, so like, Knight of Wands in reverse, somebody has been dishonest here with you. But with the Princess of Swords in reverse, I see you in the energy of not wanting to cut them off or let them go. You know, with the Princess of Cups, it's like you might be a little too forgiving or too, um, accepting of this. You know, it kind of goes back to that Ace of Cups in reverse, like, like, you need to have a level of self-respect in this situation by, like, not allowing people to disrespect you in that way, you know? Yeah, so with the Emperor in reverse, it's like the person you're dealing with is really um, not a strong leader. Like, they're really, uh, I'd say, immature. They lack confidence. Uh, with the Temperance in reverse, they could be really impatient. Um, 
not really have a high tolerance for you or anything, you know. With the Knight of Swords in Reverse and the Two of Swords in the Upright, it's like, I see that you don't confront certain things with this person because, like, you want to keep the peace. Um, but with the Four of Cups in Reverse, I see, like, an energy shift where, like, the dynamic here is no longer, of like, enjoying each other's company so much as it is, like, being able to contain one another, if that makes sense. It's kind of weird energy, man. <laughs> uh, let's see. Priestess in reverse tells me you could be in denial about something. Lacking faith on a, a situation. We have the death card. I do see a cycle coming to an end, or this situation coming to an end. With the seven of wands, it's like new paths will be laid out for you, and you're gonna you're gonna see it like really clearly. Um, like that trapped energy isn't gonna last for very long. With the two of wands in reverse, under the two of swords, it's like I see you no longer being at a crossroads after this. Um, Eight of Wands in reverse, it might take time, so it goes back to that being patient, but, like, divine timing is everything, dude. Um, yeah, I'm gonna drop some oracles on this. I feel like, intuitively, you know, like... What you should do about your situation, I just feel like you you really sit in that energy of trying to keep the peace, and eventually you're just going to have to, like, express your truth and accept that sometimes that means no peace, <laughs> you know? And sometimes we need those moments that lack peace so that we can better appreciate when we have it. Um, a moment in reverse... Yeah, no, it's time for you to kind of step outside of your shell a little bit. Kind of, like... Grab the bull by the horns kind of energy. eternal flame, right? I always attribute the eternal flame card to twin flames, especially with the way that she's, like, kind of sitting there, uh, she's got her light on, and it's kind of, um, indicative of her waiting for her love to come from, you know, overseas or whatever. And so, with the unity card showing up with that, it's, like, showing, like, you will have that you just need to stop holding on to cycles that don't work <laughs> you know it's you know the closer you get to yourself the closer you get to that kind of energy um but that shouldn't even be the objective here you know the objective here is really coming to um a place within yourself where you no longer need any kind of validation outside of yourself you know, um, you don't need 
anybody's approval or like, you know. And that's, that's the kind of freedom that you need to get to before you get here, you know. And it taps back into that divine timing thing. Like, allow yourself to be patient. Allow yourself to, like, enjoy how it goes. <laughs> you know, amor fati. It means uh, love your fate, you know, however however that plays out for you. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you. <laughs> Namaste. I love you guys. See you later.